that is your squaring key. Now press that next. Now look carefully on your display screen, you'll see a, a rather large 4, and there's a 2 next to it. But see, that, that's not 42. That's 4 squared. The 2 is a little bit smaller and it's a little bit raised up a bit, meaning it's a, it's a, it's a power, it's an exponent. And then we're, we're done. I don't want to do anything else with this problem. I just want to follow what's 4 squared. So I press the Enter key, and I get 16. Well, 4 squared was fine. I wanted 4 cubed. So it's the fourth, 4 to the fifth power. How can I put those in the calculator now? Hmm. Well, we're going to use a special function key. It's called the caret. No, not this caret. This caret. Now, it's located right above the division key. And let's actually do an example that uses both the square key and the caret. For this example, let's look at 9 squared minus 2 cubed. Let's put that in a calculator. So make sure the calculator is turned on, press the clear key. Yes, you're probably going to get sick of me saying that. But again, we're learning how to properly use the calculator. I want you to get used to it. Always press the clear key. Well, almost always, you know that. So, let's input 9 squared minus, make sure it's the subtraction key, not the negation key, I'm subtracting. And then 2, so I press the 2. Now, I would like to tell the calculator, oh, I want to cube the 2. To do that, you now press the caret key. Press the caret key. Now, I won't always say press that caret key. I'm going to use the word power. 